She has an absolutely gorgeous voice, and now this Nashville queen is an American Idol hopeful. She'll be featured this Sunday on the hit show as she auditions in front of the famous all-star panel. Welcome in, Abby Blake. We're so happy to have you here. We're not going to spoil anything about the show, but we have to cheer on our hometown girl. <laughs> Welcome in. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Of course. Okay, so what has the experience been like, the American Idol experience? It's been surreal. There's been so much love and support um, from family and friends and people back home, and it's, yeah, it's been it's been crazy. Okay, okay. So let, let's go back. What was the audition like? Oh, the audition process. It it was surreal. You know, seeing all of the talent and there were so many incredible people, and I got to meet new friends and. Um, yeah, it was, it was, the atmosphere was incredible and yeah. crazy and surreal. What did you sing and who were you the most starstruck when you saw, you know, Lionel, Katie, and you saw uh, Luke Bryan? Mm -hmm. um, I sang What About Us by Pink, um, which was, yeah, it's a great song. Um, I was not expecting to sing that. It was kind of a last minute change. Um, but I guess, I don't know, I... As far as being starstruck, I really tried to put myself in the mindset of like, they're just people. Oh, no. And because otherwise I would have been a mess and just totally freaked myself out. Um, but it was, yeah, it was crazy just seeing all of them. I, I in know. The room, yeah. I, I can't imagine it. Okay, so um, you said that you used a vocal steamer to prepare for this. Yeah. What is that? Just kind curious. Of, kind of like a nebulizer oh. kind of situation okay. where you literally just sit over like vocal, like just steam and it goes directly to your vocal cords and just for moisture and hydration. Because I heard that you can't picture yourself doing anything but singing. So mm. I want to hear more about your background. Yeah. Well, I'm from a very small town in Minnesota and I grew up um, taking piano lessons, that was my first kind of introduction to, to music. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, choir in high school and college and everything. Um, I grew up an athlete as well. I played sports my whole life. And so music was kind of secondary to that for a long time. Mm -hmm. And then I just kind of had to just change in direction. And yeah. Why now? Because, I mean, I'm sure you've been watching American Idol growing up. Why this season? Did you say, you know what, I'm going to go for it? The opportunity just kind of presented itself. And I'm kind of, you know, a big believer in everything happens for a reason. And everything happens when it's supposed to. And, mm -hmm. you know, if something presents itself, then, you know, go for go forward with it. Why not? Yes. You know? And I have seen your Instagram and you can do all different types, which I found that interesting that you changed your song last mm. minute yeah. because you can sing all different types of music, which I think is kind of important for American Idol. Sure. Um, if you move forward, I don't know anything. You can't say anything. Mm -hmm. But what is your, your hope in, in, in being part of this show? Oh, my biggest thing is I truly just want to be as authentic as possible and just be as myself as possible because I'm not an actress. I can't fake it, you know? So I, you know, that was really my biggest thing. Just do what feels right and just be myself. And I, yeah, so that's kind of my whole thing and wherever it takes me, it takes me. Oh, so awesome. Well, you can actually catch Abby. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited. Uh, tonight, catch her at Kid Rocks, but this Sunday, catch Abby on American Idol. The show starts at 7 right here on WKRN. We are going to be cheering for you, sister. Thank you.